टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट चैप्टर थ्री द इंटरनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिसोर्सेज कैपेबिलिटीज को कॉम्पिटेंसीज कॉम्पिटेटिव एडवांटेज एंड कॉम्पिटेटिव एनालिस सो फर्स्टली लेट्स डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वाई इज इट इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर आम फर्म टू स्टडी एंड अंडरस्टैंड इट्स इंटरनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बाय स्टडिंग द इंटरनल इन्वायरमेंट फार्म्स आइडेंटिफाई वाट दे कैन डू यूनिक रिसोर्स कैपेबिलिटीज एंड कॉम्पिटेंसीज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर अ सस्टेनेबल कॉम्पिटिटिव एडवांटेज आफ्टर दैट वी हैव वाट इज वैल्यू वाई इज इट क्रूशल फॉर द फार्म टू क्रिएट वैल्यू हाउ डज इट डू सो Reared by the product performance characteristics and product attributes for which customers will pay. By exploiting their core competencies or competitive advantages, firm creates value. Firms also create value by innovatively bundling and leveraging their resources and capabilities. Superior value is equal to above average returns. After that, we have. what are the differences between tangible and intangible resources why is it important for decision makers to understand the differences are tangible resources more valuable for creating capabilities than are intangible resources are is reverse true and why tangible resources are observed and quantified intangible resources are rooted deeply in firm's history accumulate over time are difficult for competitors to analyze and imitate indeed intangible resources often play a more significant role than tangible resources more valuable because you can leverage them more after that we have what are capabilities how do firms create capabilities it represent the capacity to deploy resources that have been purposely integrated to achieve a desired end state emerge over time through complex interactions among tangible and intangible resources often are often are based on developing caring and exchanging information and knowledge through the firm's human capital the foundation of many capabilities lies in the unique skills and knowledge of a firm's employees and the functional expertise of those employees capabilities are often developed in a specific functional area or as a part of a functional area after that let's discuss what four criteria must capabilities satisfy for them to become core competencies why is it important for firms to use these criteria to evaluate their capabilities value creating potential value rarity costly to imitate and non substitutability capabilities failing to satisfy the four criteria are not the core competencies meaning that although every core competency is a capability not every capability is a core competency after that let's discuss what is the value chain analysis what does the firm gain by successfully using this tool value chain analysis is used to identify and evaluate the competitive potential of resources and capabilities by studying their skills relative to those associated with value chain activities and support functions firms can understand their cost structure and identify the activities through which they are able to create value after that we have what is the outsourcing why do firms outsource will outsourcing will outsourcing's importance grow in the future if so why the purchase of value creating activity from an external supplier when a firm cannot create value in either a value chain activity or support function outsourcing is considered by performing fewer capabilities a firm can concentrate on those areas in which it can create value 
especially suppliers can perform outsourced capabilities more efficiently and after that we have how do firms identify internal strengths and weaknesses why is it vital that managers have clear understanding of their firm's strengths and weaknesses firms identify their internal strengths and weaknesses by analyzing their internal business environment managers should have a clear understanding of their internal strengths and weaknesses because of the following reasons to be make sure they have the right resources and not just lots of resources if a resource is considered to be right then it can be modeled if a resource is considered to be right then it can be molded into a core competency managers need to fully understand their strengths and so they can create capabilities that create the value finally we have what are the core rigidities what does it mean to say that each core competencies should become a core rigidity core rigidity is a core competency that is generally too strong or heavy within a company and when the balance shifts in the external environment it cannot shift with it the key for most companies is to not let any resource sit for too long doing any particular task it should be able to multitask or at least serve more than one purpose within the business role all the core competencies have the potential to become core rigidities former core former core competencies that now generate inertia and stifle innovation